Hey guys, it's Christy and today I am going to do a book haul. This is a mix of books that I got from Books A Million, which I don't have in my area. I went uh, while I was on vacation and some books from, I, I think I got it from Book Outlet before. I really don't remember. It was probably a long time ago if I did. So I'm going to consider this like my first book outlet, like big order. Books a million first. I don't have many of them here because <laughs> literally like I've already read a bunch of them. But I got all three books in the To All the Boys I Loved Before series. This is the last one because I'm reading it now. I'm almost done. I have like that much left. But I got To All the Boys I Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever Lara Jean because they were buy two, get one free. Excellent, right? The next book um i got was scythe and that's by neil schusterman i already read it loved it uh not much more to say on that one and the last one that i got there was in the afterlight by alexandra bracken i believe this is the third book yeah because never fade is okay so this is the third book in the darkest minds like series and since the new one like I got something new one to review I need to like catch up on all of the other ones but yes those are the books that I got from books a million and now here is the much awaited book outlet haul I'm so excited all right so the first book that I got was the sequel to Scythe which is Thunderhead and that's by Neil Schusterman I absolutely love the series if you don't know much about it it's like a world in the future like a futuristic world where there's no diseases so people don't die of like natural causes and you can't get like murdered or anything like that so they have these people called sites that will like their job is to basically like kill people so that there is not like overpopulation problems and we in the first book we follow uh two people who may want like may be chosen to be sites and then this is like the continuing story so i'm super excited for that one this is the one i'm probably going to read this after i finish um always in forever Lara Jean, to be honest it is a madness so discreet by mindy mcginnis i have been hearing a lot about this one um I'm not really 100 percent sure 100 sure what it's about but i know like this girl is in a an institute some type of institution and she doesn't belong there so yeah I'm not really sure but it sounds amazing and I'm excited to read that one the next book which I haven't seen any oh, anywhere to be honest is called Violent Ends and it's a novel in 17 points of view um, I'm just gonna like read this little part because honestly like I'm not gonna be able to give it a good synopsis it says it only took 22 minutes for Kirby Matheson to exit his car, march onto school grounds, enter the gymnasium, and open fire, killing six and injuring five others. But this isn't a story about the shooting itself. This isn't about recounting that one unforgettable day. This is about Kirby and how one boy who had friends, enjoyed reading, played saxophone in the band, and had never been in trouble before became a monster capable of entering his school with a loaded gun and firing on his classmates. Each chapter is told from a different viewpoint, giving insight into what who Kirby was and who he'd become. Some are sweet, some are dark, some are seemingly unrelated about fights or first kisses or late night parties. This is a book of perspectives with one character and one event drawing them all together from the minds of YA's most recognizable names. So this has like parts from, I'm, I'm sorry, this is not a subject matter that I'm smiling about. Oreo is just underneath this chair right now and he has his head on my leg so that's what that smile was about. And Okay. S I R I just thought I was talking to her, so like that was odd. But this has like parts from, let's see, these are the people that I know like Neil and Brandon, Neil and Brendan Schusterman, Beth Revis, Ken Dare Blake. Um, yeah, just like a whole bunch of really amazing YA authors, so that should be a good one. This next one I've heard a lot about um, in the YA community. It is called The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I, ugh, It is just an absolutely beautiful book, and 
I don't know, I, I like to go into books really not knowing what they're about, like to be quite honest. The next one is Bone Gap by Lara Ruby. It looks like this. I've seen a couple people on Twitter say that this is one of their favorite books of all time. So I wanted to give that one a go. The next two are by my fave Stephen King. We have The Regulators. It's him writing as Richard Bachman. And we have Dance Macabre, Macabre, whoa, and it looks like this, I haven't seen those ones anywhere, so yay, two more to add to the collection. The next is Luck Opposition, um, I believe this is like the last books in, book in the like Lux series, which I need to um, get moving on. And I have three more. I have... Anna Todd's The Spring Girls. I read the after series by Anna Todd and I really liked it. So I figured I'd give this one a go. It says it's a modern day retelling of Little Woman. Then we have American Girls by Allison Uminger. It looks like this. I've seen a little bit about it. I'm not really sure what it's about, but I'm excited to check it out. And the last one is The Chaos of Standing Still by Jessica Brody. This one, um, I've seen a lot of reviews by a lot of like my really good friends written on how amazing this one is. So, of course, I had to add it to the collection. And all of those books that I just showed you from Book Outlet only came to $42. So, I got like 11 books for $42, which is just completely unheard of. And if you look at like some of the prices, I mean, the most expensive book... I got two books that were $6.39 and one of them was the Stephen King and one of them was the Hazelwood, which were like, I mean, expensive. But Violent Ends was literally $1.59 and $1.79 for American Girls. So I just, I mean, the prices on Book Outlet are amazing and I think that's going to be my new like favorite place to go when they have a whole bunch of books because it's like free shipping over $35 and I mean, clearly it takes a lot to get to $35 at some points. So yeah, that is my haul. I'm super excited. I haven't started any of them. I think I'm going to start with um, a darkness, uh, a madness so <laughs> a madness so discreet. And yeah, if you read any of these, let me know which ones I should like put up on my TBR. I know Thunderhead's going to be read like super soon too. And Violent Ends, those are like the three that Oh, and the Hazelwood. Okay, so all of them. I'm really excited for all of them. And I will see you guys again soon. See ya.